Hello, hello, hello. To all of the Virgos out there, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, welcome to your Valentine's Day edition reading for February of 2024. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. If this is your first time stopping by, welcome, welcome, welcome. If the reading does not resonate with your situation, check your Moon, Venus, and Rising sign videos. Cross watchers are welcome as well. For a personal reading, links will be posted in the description box below the video. Virgos, do me a favor. If the reading resonates with your situation, please press the thumbs up uh, <laughs> the thumbs up image, okay, to show some support to the channel. Also, just to let me know that it resonates. All right, you got four cards that came out. <clears throat> All right, so I feel like some of you have created some type of peace, balance, harmony within a friendship. Or if this is not you creating this peace, harmony, balance within a friendship, someone here wants to create this with you. I feel like this is someone you may have walked away from, um, someone you left out in the cold, or vice versa. Apply the energy as it fits to your story. This person could have tried to control you in some kind of way. They could have also been wearing a mask but they are passionate about or fantasizing about reconnecting with you all right going on a new journey reconnecting sparking a new flame all right so that's what i have someone here is wanting to re-spark a flame with you all right let's see i don't know what that was but let's see what else is here for the sign of Virgo for Valentine's Day. What else is here? Hope you all are doing well on today. I will be going live tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for live questions and answers. If you are wanting to join in, you are more than welcome. So Virgo, some of you may have been dealing with a Cancer, a Capricorn, or a Leo. I feel like um, in the past, I feel like in the past, you moved on. You got clarity about someone's toxic ways or vice versa. Or vice versa, okay? Because sometimes we you could be the person with the toxic ways. But someone here has gotten some type of clarity about someone's toxic ways. Gotten clarity that someone was a manipulator. They had addictions. They overindulged in things, okay? Someone here was just very messy, Someone here could have put you in a place, you in a third party situation. There could have been people gossiping about you, okay? Or you could have been gossiping about other people. Just apply the energy as it fits to your story. And right now, someone here has taken a time out. Someone took a step back, taking took a time out to recover, to recuperate. And someone here is contemplating on if they're going to renew this union or not. Someone here is contemplating about renewing this union. But I feel like something here right now may be stuck. Okay. I do feel like someone here has some deep regrets. Someone has deep regrets. This person is contemplating on if they want to make amends or if they want to come back towards you or you them. I do feel like there are a lot of challenges that took place or that are taking place per, or that will take place pertaining to you and this person overcoming challenges and persevering and moving forward. However, although challenges are there, I do see in the near future some type of revelation and change coming in. Could be done with a Scorpio or an Aries. Yeah, I feel like someone from the past is coming in to work on this union in the near future. Someone wants to come back together. I'm going to clarify. Let's see what's going on. If this sounds like your story, don't forget to press the thumbs up image. So in the past, you got clarity that someone placed you in a third party situation. And you moved on. Okay, I feel like you moved on because this person may have just wanted a friends with benefits or they were trying to come in to brag from you. Okay, they were trying to brag from you in the past. So you walked away from these double, devilish 
toxic waste. Yeah, this is someone that could have been given to you and someone else. And that's just what the past storyline is. Someone here was given to multiple people. Right now, I feel like either you or this person, someone is contemplating, trying to figure out how to come back in to nurture the situation so that things can grow, expand, and redevelop uh, um, some type of friendship base or a relationship moving forward. Someone's trying to figure out how we're going to move forward. How are we going to stabilize this thing? Someone wants to move towards peace and harmony right now because they see you happy and they see that you've moved on and you're no longer thinking about it and now they're ready to put the work in to come in to have this new beginning in love. <clears throat> okay? So this person is sitting back watching and thinking of ways. Now, um, they feel like in the near future, I do see um, tension rising. So someone here is in their feelings in the near future. And I feel like it's not, the energy I'm getting is that it's not anything personal. It's just like, you may not like this person's energy or they may not like yours. And it's a trigger. So this is like a trigger warning here. Like someone is going to trigger the other person's um, undealt with emotions, if that makes sense. <laughs> undealt with emotions. So I feel like in the near future, I do see someone walking away. I do see some feel like someone is going to walk away from this in order to um, maintain um, or to protect their energy. Someone's going to, and Virgo, this could be you with this King of Pentacles, walking away from this to, to ground your energy or to maintain your peace. Yeah, I feel like there is a new opportunity or a chance for a new beginning. There are definitely high possibilities here. And for some of you, um, this could be at your workplace. But there are possibilities presenting itself, new possibilities presenting, them, presenting itself to you. But I feel like some of you are focused on something else. Like you're focused on yourself at this time. I don't see you... Like, if you give to this situation, it's, I see it being the bare minimum. Why are you not in, wanting to entertain this person? What's going on between Virgo and this person? Let's see why you're not wanting to entertain them. Yeah, I feel like it could be a Taurus, but I feel like you're not wanting to entertain this person because you got clarity that this person is a trickster. They like to play games. They want to pull the wool over your eyes. And I feel like for some of you, again, this trigger that you experience with this person is like your clarity that this person has not made change. Yeah. That they have not made change. They don't mean you any any good. They're going to cause you to, um, your energy to be imbalanced. So you're making a decision for yourself to detach from this situation and to go at it alone. Some of you are going at it alone. You're blocking this person, point blank and simple. You're going to handle this person with a long handle wooden spoon. Okay? Yeah, because I feel like they broke your heart in the past and you're not, and caused you to like feel some type of disappointment. You're not allowing them back into your space. That's that's what I had. Could be a Gemini or a Taurus or another Virgo. So I, I am going to leave it at that, Virgos. This is what I have for your Valentine reading. Someone from your past is trying to come back in. I do not see you taking this person back. This is you not accepting their offer. Comment in the comment section below. Let me know if this is your story. Share, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Be safe. I am sending love, light, peace, and healing energy. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your week, and I will see you next time. Peace.